final assembly of the P51B Mustang, the Hunter Hunter from Texas, is just about ready. So the wings are done, both sides. The um, undercarriage legs are done, both sides. I'm not going to turn them over because silver's still wet. Drop tanks are done. The undercarriage legs are done. They're both still drying. Air screw is done. That's got to be painted white on the spinner. Uh, pilot needs to be done. The wheels are done, apart from the insides. So there's the outside fuselage and there's my inside of the cockpit. So we're ready for the final assembly and then just the uh, touching up of the paint. So that's really good. Rock and roll baby. So the Mustang fuselage is put together and that's uh, been held tight with pegs ready to attach the wings to it. So it's all looking quite nice and going ahead nice and smoothly. It's a very easy kit to build. With the glue all stuck, it became apparent that I could still see the seams on top of the fuselage and down the wing roots. So they've had a little bit of filler and a little bit of rubbing down. So I've got to repaint those areas, obviously. But uh, it's looking a lot better than it did. So hopefully that'll look good when I finish it. So I fitted the drop tanks and the wheels. I need to do the wheel uh, covers, the undercarriage covers as, as yet. Um, started on the... The white painted nose, put the tail wheel in, rubbed down and filled the uh, seam. So yeah, it's looking quite nice. So yeah, all touched up on here as well. So yeah, it's coming on a treat. Well, there we go. Lieutenant Henry Brown's Hun Hunter from Texas, the Airfix P-51B Mustang, built my third time in my life after first getting it with my pocket money as a kid out in Beckles from the toy shop with my dad for £1.10. Lovely looking model. It has given me a few um, difficulties. I wish I'd uh, done this as the last one instead of the first one out of this uh, current batch of models down here. For the simple fact, I would have got more practice on the airbrush and done a better job on the painting. But generally speaking, it's not looking bad at all. I think it's an improvement from when I did it as an eight-year-old.